Hey everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very overdue video. I went to Melbourne mid-July and it is now mid-September so it's been a good couple of months since I've had all of this stuff. I've had it all here ready to do a video but I just haven't had the time to film. So I'm finally doing it today. I'm really excited to do this video and show you everything that I got while I was in Melbourne. I did get quite a lot of makeup. I understand that no one needs this much makeup but it's a huge hobby and passion of mine and it's also something I do for a job as well. That's the reason why I buy so much makeup. It really does make me happy. I just thought I would show you everything that I bought because I always love watching these type of videos. So I thought maybe you will too. So any makeup lover that lives somewhere that doesn't have a Sephora and goes somewhere where there is a Sephora, it's going to be their first stop. So I did buy quite a few things from Sephora. A lot of the time here in Australia, the Sephora website can be out of stock of a lot of things and it's always just nice when you're in a store in person to be able to swatch things and get your colors and things like that. I think I had three trips in total to Sephora and I was there for less than a week. So yeah, you can tell that it's kind of my happy place. I just love having the exposure to makeup brands that I wouldn't normally be able to get my hands on. So before going to Melbourne, I had very little products from Kat Von D as a brand. I haven't owned a lot of her products and I've always heard amazing things about them. So I got a few things from the Kat Von D range. I got the Locket Foundation and this is in the shade Light 48 Neutral. I do have a first impression coming up on the Locket range. And I also got the Locket Concealer Cream in the shade Light 5 Neutral. The Locket Brightening Powder in the shade Petal. And I also got the Locket Setting Powder, which is just a translucent shade. I do have a first impression review video on all of the Kat Von D Locket products that I picked up in Melbourne. So I will link that video down below if that video is already up. And that will just let you know my thoughts on these products. Foundation is something that I bought a lot of in Melbourne. If you follow me on my Facebook page or on my Instagram, you would have seen my foundation collection photo I did the other day. Foundation is just something that I am addicted to. I just can't help buying lots of foundation. I just want to try out every foundation under the sun pretty much. So I did buy quite a few foundations while I was in Melbourne. The Kat Von D was the first one. And then from Sephora, I also got the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. Now this one I am actually doing a first impression review on this foundation today. So I have it on my face right now. Just comes in a tube like this and yeah it's an oil free foundation. And the video for this review should be up shortly as well. Another foundation I got was the Sephora Oil Free 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. This one I got in the lightest shade which was number 10 Light Ivory. This one I got because I really wanted to try out the new Mecca Max foundation which I have recently purchased as well but I wanted to do a comparison review of the Mecca Max foundation compared to the Sephora home brand foundation. So it'll be kind of interesting to see between the two home brands of the biggest makeup retailers here in Australia which one performs better. So I'm looking forward to doing that review. I was thinking about doing it today but I've got tan on and this is a lot paler than what I am at the moment so it wouldn't really have worked. I'm really excited to do that video and just sort of see how they compare to each other. The last foundation that I got from Sephora was the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This one I got in the shade Light and I just got this in the little mini size. I also do want to do a first impression on this product. I haven't done that one yet. I'm really interested to see how it goes. I had a friend with me that I was shopping with and she told me this is really good. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. This color light will be for when I have tan on. They do have a fairer shade, but I don't think they have it in the mini size. And I only wanted a mini because obviously I have so much foundation. I did not need to get a full size. At the time when I went to Sephora, they were having a gift with purchase for all Sephora Black members. And so they gifted me the new Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer and I got the shade number one. They call this a medium coverage concealer and I've tried this and I actually really like it. It's great for under the eyes. It's nice and creamy. You get a decent amount in the little sample that I've given you and I have used quite a bit of it already. And I went back on another visit and they actually gave me another concealer. I was a bit cheeky that I got two but I was stoked and this time I asked to get the number two so that I had one that I could wear when I had tan on. This is super 
super random, but I bought some Sephora powder puffs. I just thought it would be interesting to try out using some powder puffs for applying like loose powder. Sometimes it's a bit messy with a brush and I didn't know if it would be a little bit easier with a powder puff. I don't know. I just thought I would try them out and give them a go. I haven't tried them yet, so I can't tell you what they're like, but yeah, I thought I would give those ones a go. That's everything that I got from Sephora, but just before I went, I had done an online order for Sephora, so I figured I may as well include it in this haul. So with my online order, I bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Palette. I got this for doing freelance. It's for professional makeup artists. Basically, it just contains every shade that you could possibly need for doing freelance artistry. I've tried this out a few times, and the formula of the brow powders is really, really nice. I really like the way it applies onto the brow. When I went to see my mum and my sister in Mackay, I used this on them as well, and so it's just so handy just having such a variety of shades in there. I know I'll get heaps and heaps of use out of this for clients. And then I also grabbed the Anastasia Beverly Hills Browers in the shade Talk. I had previously owned this, but I just thought I would get another one. It was one of my favorite brow pencils. I've tried it a few times more recently, and I don't love it as much as I remembered I did. And I've been trying it again. It's not like I hate it or anything, but I think I've just been trying such amazing brow pencils since that this one doesn't stand out as much to me as being so super amazing as what I used to think it was. Oh, and the Kat Von D Locket setting powder, I actually purchased this one online rather than in store. This one was on the website for $24 and it's like full size. Now I'm pretty sure it's on there for $51. So I don't know if it was like some error on the website or something, but yeah, I just made the most of it and bought it. It's a full size powder, it's 19 grams. I thought for $24 and being such a high end brand, I had to get that one. I also went to Mecca in Melbourne. I can't go to Sephora and not go to Mecca. I went to probably three or four different Mecca stores while I was there as well. So from Mecca in Maya Melbourne, I bought the Jin Soon Nail Lacquer in the shade Moxie. It's a really, really pretty dusky, pinky purple kind of color. This is just the type of color I love to wear on my nails. I really need to paint my nails again. I'm shocking with painting them and I just always let them chip so badly. So that's why I don't paint them too often because I'm terrible at removing them, redoing them. Sometimes it's easier to just have nothing on them. It looks a little bit tidier. I used to collect nail polish like crazy, but now that addiction has moved into makeup and I don't actually have anywhere near as much nail polish as I used to have. Still don't need any more nail polish than I currently have, but um, yeah. Can add this one to the collection. So this product had just just launched when I was in Melbourne and I really wanted it. So it was the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. I have been using this and it smells so good. As you can see I have already used a bit of it. It has the most fine mist. It's really really perfect. I would spray some on now but I'm doing a first impression review on this foundation so I don't really want to but I'll kind of spray it just so that you can see how fine of a mist it is. It's just perfect it just dissipates really well. It's a nice even spray onto the skin so you don't feel like you get a whole lot of water droplets on the skin. It just evenly falls onto the face and sets your makeup in place really well. It does give a bit of a glow and I do find I probably do get a little bit oilier from wearing this but I do like that glow and usually I'm wearing things that are very very matte so it's nice to be able to give that kind of a glow back to the skin with a product like this. From Too Faced I really wanted to try the Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Warm Nude. I do also have this in the shade Ivory, so I have used that shade before, but it's very, very yellow, and it's not really a good color match on me, so I haven't worn it a lot. So I thought I'd pick up this shade to be able to wear while I've got tan on. It looks like a much better tone for me, and I think it's one I could definitely use for clients as well. It's a good one for all skin types, and it's medium to full coverage, so it's a really nice foundation. And this is the second last foundation that I bought on my trip. I also got the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer. I've been wanting this for a while so I decided to pick it up. It looks like this. It actually goes on the skin a lot warmer than I expected it to be which I really like. I thought it was going to be quite cool toned because in the pan it does look quite cool toned but when it goes on the skin it does have a nice amount of warmth to it. it blends really easily and it's just a really good bronzer. I have so many bronzers but bronzers for some reason I just love buying bronzer. I never ever used to wear bronzer being so 
super pale sometimes it can be harder to get the right bronzer and if you don't know how to apply bronzer well it can just look really really bad but now I love bronzer and I wear it pretty much every single day the last Too Faced product I got was the chocolate brownie 12 hour wear cocoa powder brow pencil I have not tried this yet I got the shade soft brown it had really 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 good reviews on the Mecca website this is actually really hard to get I couldn't buy this at the regular Mecca Maxima store in Melbourne Central I had to go to the Mecca in Maya Melbourne to get this so it is a little bit trickier to get I don't know why it's just not ranged to all of the stores but yeah I have not tried this out yet it does look very very similar to the arch brow sculpting pencil from Hourglass but it's a lot cheaper it has like that kind of a applicator to it it's definitely not as triangular as the Hourglass one it's a little bit more straight I don't know if you can tell that at all but it's definitely a little bit more straight than Hourglass and the Anastasia one that's in the packaging like this and it does have your spoolie on the one end as well so I'm yet to try this it does smell like chocolate like all of their other chocolate palettes and chocolate sole bronzes and things like that so it smells really good but I'm yet to try out the product and see if I actually like the formula or not I have been having so much trouble with my mascara transferring onto the top of my lid so I wanted to get a waterproof mascara so I picked up the Bobbi Brown no smudge mascara this stuff is so good it just does not transfer and it just works really really well the actual formula of it and the brush are really nice as well like it applies nicely gives you good length and volume so it's a really nice mascara in general not just because it doesn't smudge some mascaras yeah I think they are good for not smudging but they don't necessarily perform as well on the lashes I really really like this mascara so far it's just a silver tube and then the brush looks like this so it doesn't look like anything spectacular but it actually applies the mascara really nicely not clumpy or thick or anything so I've been loving that one so far I think I already own every glam glow mask that is on the market currently in Australia at least so the only one that I didn't own was the flash mint so I had to buy that and I just got the mini size because like I said I've got all the other ones in mini sizes as well but I don't do a mask all that often so there's no point in me getting a big one because I would just never use it up so I got this one as you can see it is unopened I have tried it before in a sample and it's so nice it smells like oranges it's exfoliating and really brightening and I love this mask I thought I would grab this one to give my skin a bit of a treat I really need to use it though the other brow pencil I got was the La Sorcille waterproof eyebrow pencil and this one I got the shade V all of the shades for this are in Roman numerals and I really love skinny brow pencils so like the Anastasia brow wears ones like that the Lancome one that I love I've tried this one out the color is perfect it's really nice and ashy it's not too warm I actually really love this as a brow pencil the only thing is it doesn't have a spoolie on it but other than that it's an amazing brow pencil it works really well and gives you nice precision so I would repurchase this I haven't been using my brow pencils as much anymore I don't know why but ever since I came back from that trip I haven't been using brow pencils as much as I used to and brow pencils have been for a fair while now my favorite way to do my eyebrows but likes of today I use the powder I've been using my Anastasia pomade a lot more I think like buying the pro palette from Anastasia and playing around with the powders I just really liked the way that looked as well so I've just been trying different techniques and just trying to use up what I've got because things like a pomade and powders they do take a lot longer to get through and things like pencils you do use them really quickly it is a lot more cost effective for me to be using a powder or a pomade so I have been trying to use those a lot more so I don't run through my brow pencils as quickly another thing I got was the Urban Decay Bad Blood Lip Liner now this box is empty there is nothing in here I was so devastated I bought this and I wore it all day during the conference that I was at with the Bobbi Brown art stick pencil thing in the shade pomegranate and it looked so good it was perfect color just looked perfect and I wore it all day and I even got a comment from another girl when I was at the airport like oh my god how does your makeup still look so good right now and I had this lip liner on and I reapplied it and everything when I was at the airport and then as soon as I got home off the plane I couldn't 
couldn't find it. So it must have fallen out of my handbag at some point. So I was so devastated. Since I've been back, I have actually repurchased this again. So I now actually do have one of these, but I was so devastated that I lost it and I had to rebuy it. The last two things that I got was the Soap and Glory Total Drama Clean 5-in-1 Magnetizing Micellar Makeup Remover. That is such a long name. I have used this. It smells like cucumber. It's really soothing. Works really well. And this was like, I think, $12 for this gigantic bottle. It's really, really good value. If you haven't tried this out, I definitely would recommend this one. And then the last thing I got was the Kevin Aquan, the Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation. This one I got from the Chadston store, I'm pretty sure. And I got the shade Light 02. I got this for when I have no tan on and I hope it matches me. I really wanted to do a first impression on this foundation as well, so I haven't tried it out. This is probably one of the pricier items that I bought. This once again has amazing reviews on the website and I really wanted to try it. It's really difficult to get your hands on this in Australia. You can buy it online, but I think the only store that stocks it is the Chadson store. Not everyone has the whole range of Kevin Aquan, so I really wanted to try this out and I'm really, really excited to try it. I just really want to do a video on it. Hopefully that video won't be too far away. We were randomly shopping in Maya one day and they had this random sale on over the loudspeaker. I think they had like 10 or 20% off at Benefit. So all I bought was the Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer in the shade Light to Medium. This I really love. It just looks like this. It has a doe foot applicator. Even when I'm super pale, it matches. You just need to like blend it out and it blends into your skin tone. And it's just really nice because it neutralizes any discoloration on the eyelid and really preps your lids well for your eyeshadow. My eyeshadow doesn't crease when I use this. I I really like it. I'm really happy with it. I haven't tried it under my concealer, but it's supposed to be really good for that. I just always forget. I usually do concealer first and then do eyeshadow primer after, so I think that's why. But I really want to try it for that. The girl at Benefit said it's amazing for that use. So that's all I got from them. And then with my job, I was lucky enough to be gifted some amazing product as well. So I thought I'd just quickly show you what I was gifted while I was in Melbourne as well. I got the Elemental Herbology Macadamia and Papaya Body scrub just looks like this it is massive and elemental herbology is quite a natural brand it's a really beautiful brand i'm really excited to try that out i haven't opened it yet and i probably won't open this one just yet i am moving back to new zealand in a few months so i don't really want it to spill and go everywhere so i figure if i leave it all sealed up until then hopefully it won't spill in transit i was also gifted the clean slate mecca cosmetica micellar water with cornflower and damask rose extracts I also own this in a full size and I love this micellar water. It's so nice. I actually reach for this one more than the Soap and Glory one. I don't know why, but I just really, really like this. I feel like it gets my makeup off really nicely. My skin doesn't feel dry or anything after I've used it. It just feels really nice and comfortable. So I was stoked to be able to get a mini of that one. We also got the Mecca Cosmetica Bright Eyes Hydrogel Eye Mask. That will be amazing to try out for dark circles under the eyes. It's really nice and brightening. So can't wait to try that that one. I should really do a bit of a pamper sesh with this mask and the Glam Glow mask. Do them both at the same time. We're lucky enough to be gifted the Lipstick Queen lipstick in the shade The Whole Truth. Now this shade is stunning. The new collection Nothing But The Nudes is a really nice kind of satiny kind of formula but really moisturizing and they're really really beautiful colors and I've been wearing this a lot. I love the color of it and love the formula. I'm really stoked. I'm hoping to actually get another shade in this because I love it so much. We were also gifted the BKR Beauty Will Save The World Glass and Silicone Little. So this is the 500 ml size water bottle. So these water bottles are really nice. They're glass with a silicone protection sleeve on them. They just have a little handle on them so you can carry them around and then the lid just comes off like that. I haven't used this yet because I was using my favorite drink bottle and then that dropped and broke so I'm glad I have a backup and something else to use. These drink bottles are so cute and beautiful and I feel so lucky to have received this. We we're also gifted the Bear Protect with vitamin A and Echinacea daily vitamins. So these are vitamins. They smell really strong of Echinacea. After I got home from Melbourne I actually started 
started to get really really sick with cold symptoms and I took these on the first couple of days when that was sort of starting to affect me and I feel like they just made such a difference and really helped me recover a lot faster. I don't take stuff like this year round because I don't feel like I should unless I had had a blood test and found out I was actually lacking in something I don't really see the point in taking a supplement. If I knew that was something my body was lacking I would definitely take a supplement for it but without having that evidence I don't see the point in just blindly taking something. I just took these while I was sick but I don't take them on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel so lucky to have received the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer. This is just a brand new moisturizer out from Kate Somerville. The time we received this it wasn't even on Australian shelves yet and I haven't tried this yet. I'm so excited to try it out but I've just got other products I am trying to get through but if it's anything like her other Exfolicate products I know it's going to be amazing. I have heard feedback from other people that have been using this that have found it's made a big difference in their skin so I'm really excited to try this out. We were gifted the Mecca Max clutch bag as well. Mecca Max hadn't quite launched yet at the time that we received this so that was really cool to get that early and then we also got the Mecca Morphosis makeup bag as well. I have got all of my MAC lipsticks in here. We did not get gifted these. It's just a really good sized makeup bag. It's so nice being clear so I'm stoked to have received this one. And then probably what I was most excited about was the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I've already done a video tutorial with this. I love it. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It's such an amazing palette. It just looks like this. The colors are all stunning and they blend like a dream. So I was so stoked to have received this and to have got it before it was launched here in Australia it was such a privilege. So I just feel so grateful. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Mecca. I feel so grateful grateful for everything that we did receive. I had an amazing time in Melbourne as I always do. If you did like this video please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!